big, big win today for the boys. Yeah, massive win. Um, after Tuesday to, to come here and obviously get a, get a result was really important. And uh, boys played really, really well. Ground out a difficult, a difficult win. And what was the mood in the camp like leading up to this game? Was it one of disappointment after the Grimsby game and wanting to rectify things today? Yeah, definitely. I think the boys are always disappointed when they lose. So um, coming to this game is important to try and get a result. And the boys were eager to try and come out here and get that result. And first half, I thought Wokey looked really, really fluent, didn't they? And they were probably a little bit unlucky, really, that they were only 1-0 up at half-time. Yeah, we had a couple of other chances and it would have been nice to get a second goal. It would have squeezed a lot of pressure. But... Um, had a great first half, a lot of boys, all the boys were playing well, Josh was fantastic, Morgs was brilliant holding the ball up the top, Jack was lively up top and uh, no, it was a good performance. And John Goddard getting on the score sheet, is it well really? Yeah, caught it well, in the right area, he's always live around the box, he's, uh, he's dangerous in those areas and uh, he got that goal today. And you mentioned Josh Payne and he was very much pulling the strings yeah, wasn't he, in the middle of the park? Yeah, oh definitely, he's a fantastic player, we all know that, he should probably play on a lot higher level than what he is. Um, we're lucky to have him, so it was, it was good to see him out there just dominating the game, controlling the game. And what was the game plan today really against Braintree? Was it to try and keep it tight and keep battling because they, they're a side who never give up? Uh, I think the expectation was that. We knew what they were going to be like. You know, you know what you're going to get with Braintree. We had, a, we had a tough game there a few weeks back and um, we knew it was going to be tough again today. And they don't stop going, they keep going, going and going, pushing, for, pushing to try and get a result. And um, I think we expected that going into the game, so it's all about us making sure we more than match them because we know we have probably that little bit more quality um, in the final third where we're going to uh, create chances and score goals. And was there a feeling of anxiety that that second goal didn't come and therefore it was going to be sort of squeaky bum time at the end? I was watching it, yeah. I was definitely a bit anxious watching the last last 10 minutes. It would have been nice to get a second goal and ease that pressure, but um, we didn't, but we defended really well. Defended the box well. Ross dominated his area really well, so it was, uh, it was good in the end. And good to see Scott Rendell as well, I know, coming on as a sub, because certainly after Tuesday's game, it looked as though he'd picked up a nasty injury. Yeah, no, he, um, I think he's trying obviously not to use him today, and uh, he just brought him on at the end just for, I suppose, help with that aerial threat a little bit as well. Um, but it's good to see him come on and it looks all right. And how are the walking wounded? Because, I mean, there were, what, two or three players even today who picked up sort of head injuries. It must be a bit like a sort of hospital in the dressing room. Yeah, I think, I don't know how Theo's doing. He's, he's got to see the doctor. I think he might be all right. Um, see Kieran's got a few stitches as well. So one of those games, it's a tough game against Wrexham. They're, they're physical. They're, they'll try and dominate you. But the lads more than matched them and uh, we've got our rewards. Uh, and next up on Tuesday, another home game, this time against Altrincham. Obviously a side that you beat away, but probably never an easy team to play against. No, I think they've had some good results away from home as well. I think they, they beat Halifax as well and, and Wrexham, so it won't be easy. Um, you see how tight the league is at the moment, particularly at the top half. Everyone's beating everyone, so we just need to be on our game and uh, not take nothing for granted and try and get another result. And finally, Mark, I know I ask you this every time, and you tell me every time, but how is the injury coming along? When do you think you might be back? Um, well, should be back by January, hopefully. Um, it's all, all going fairly well at the moment. Uh, doing lots of work in the gym, lots of work at home, just trying to strengthen my knee, and um, it's, feeling, it's feeling really good. So, just don't want to get too carried away and brush things too too much and uh, doing damage. So, just being a little bit sensible with it. And when do you think you might sort of start doing some ball work? Uh, hopefully, in the next next week or two. Um, probably not this week coming, I mean, maybe the week after I can start. Start doing a bit of the balls, done a lot of running in the last week or so. Uh, it's feeling like so, it's feeling good, so very positive. Lovely, thank you very much. Cheers, thanks, Cheers.